Hello students, today I am going to discuss Carrie Foster Bridge experiment. As you know, Carrie Foster Bridge experiment based on Winston Bridge principle, right? So this is the virtual link of the Carrie Foster Bridge experiment of Amrita University. Okay, there is a when the Carrie Foster Bridge is showing. There is a four gap in the bridge. Okay. Gap one, gap two, gap three, and gap four. Okay is based on the wisdom bridge principle you know the wisdom bridge principle the four resistance are connected in such a way that is two are connected in series and two are in parallel okay and the one galvanograde is connected this we are showing the galvanograde is here in this carry foster bridge is a meter bridge so it is a one meter long see i am showing is a one meter long bridge where is here okay first you need to calculate the resistance per unit length and this is your galvanometer this is a um, digital galvanometer is already connected okay so first we need to prepare our circuit okay so four gap one two three four gap is there so first you just choose the copper strip okay you just click and drag it to the circuit i am just choosing the copper strip for including the resistance per unit lane and this is the register and the copper strip another one and the fractional resistance also be there so i just click the copper strip and just put it on the gap one okay so there is a another gap the so gap two and another one is a gap two and there is another gap three and this is a gap four okay then you just choose the resistance okay p and q2 resistance is there is a gap 2 and gap 3 so you just click on the resistance box okay and drag it to the gap 2 okay and again you connect in gap 3 again you just to drag and connect it in the gap 3 is already connected to resistance connected in gap 2 and gap 3 okay and there is another gap 4 you put it in the fractional resistance box i am just click and drag it to the gap four okay then you just choose a battery okay so you just choose the battery and connect it to the circuit now you just click on the battery and drag it to the circuit now battery is connected okay now your circuit is completed okay now you just press on the button continue then it will be activated you just press on the button continue button and then circuit will start and you see there is a different parameter is there two fractional resistance one fractional resistance and two identical resistance p and q is there you click on the resistance say p and you choose a particular value there is a different fractional value is there so you just click in check click of the checkbox say 0.5 that means p and q both the resistance are chosen 0 0.5 0 0.5 because you follow the rule that is the p by q it will be the same and r by s so p and q both the resistance are same that is the 0 0.1 okay now click on the fractional resistance box and you put some resistance so you click on the fractional resistance box and you have to choose again say starting with the resistance say 0.5 so i am just choosing the 0.5 resistance okay applying in the circuit okay and this is your fraction digital galvanometer this is not the analog this is the digital galvanometer okay and the different parameter you have is visible okay and you see there is a jockey also be visible okay now you just the jockey pointer is there you just slider you can change the jockey using that slider see i am just uh, clicking on the slider the jockey is moving okay for the reading okay you apply the resistance and click on the jockey and you have to find out the null point null point means the zero or very close to zero it may be zero or somehow it may not be zero but it very close to zero now it's minus 2.33 i am clicking it it's minus 2.33 but you try to close to zero it's very close to zero 
just little bit now it says 0 0.067 is almost zero it's very six it's very close to zero okay you just put that value that is 0 0.067 now you have to choose the length now what is the length length is visible in the jockey pointer say 56.1 you just put that value in your table for the say gap one the now the opacity is in the gap one you just put it on the value and in the table okay just uh, just i am showing the table is already taken the data i have already taken the data in the hello this is your resistance y where we have to choose say 0.5 0.7 0.8 1 and the capacitive in the two gaps a gap one and gap four the two opposite gap in the gap one and gap four now we have taken the value in this a gap one so 56.1 i have already written that value 56.1 okay in the table but do not calculate or uh, choose that value i have chosen this value you have to take according to your experiment okay so it's a value 56.1 for one gap set so is the l1 again i am going back to experiment now you just take the another value within this resistance okay that is the p and q 0.5 and the fractional distance also be 0.5 the, okay we have already taken that value say l1 okay is already written on the table say 56 point one say gap four or gap one that is the uh, fractional resistance in the gap four so i have taken it in the gap four that is the mean that is the l1 okay now another value say gap one i have we have to take in the gap value then you just click on the reverse connection you click on your mouse that is the reverse connection then already it will be changed that is the capacitive on the gap 4 and the fractional resistance on the gap 1 okay is already reverse then again you just sliding the, the jockey position that is the slider jockey slider again again you try to make the galvanometer value 0 or very close to 0 somehow it may not be exactly 0 but try to zero or very close to zero say it's minus 0 0.07 consider it is a very close to zero okay so there will be another value um, for the opposite direction say 43.9 you just we have to i have already taken that value 43.9 okay in the another gap say gap one okay and then you calculate that value l2 minus l1 and rho you know that is y by l2 minus l1 so we have to calculate rho that is y by l2 minus l1 is already calculated value of rho in ohm that is 0 0.040984 okay then again come back to the circuit and like that we have to choose another value okay again you just change the direction of the circuit that is the reverse direction that is the previous one that is the copper again you have to choose the another fractional value um, say 0 0.7 the previous one 0 0.5 and now we have to choose the 0 0.7 okay in the same way we have to take the value you just slide the jockey and then we have to try to maintain the zero that is the null deflection zero deflection or the very close to zero so now it's uh, 0 0.064 now it's uh, almost um, close to zero now we have to main measure that length of the position say it's now is 58.6 okay again i have to take that value in the 56.8 and we have to put in the table okay and then you reverse the connection and again we have to take that another value okay mm, using that slider we have to make that uh, null deflection zero and you try to take it again zero value okay now it's almost 0 0.06 is close to 0 now we have to take the another value of length l2 say 41.4 okay so we have to put that value first one is 58.6 i have already taken and another gap l2 um, say 41.4 then you calculate that l2 minus l1 and then the row like that we have to take different values of y and each time you calculate row and then calculate the mean row in average calculate the row then out of that all the four or five readings you have to calculate that value row okay that is 
mean average row or key then then again come back to your circuit like that we have to calculate four to five readings within that is the resistance per unit length okay then you reset you reset the circuit you click on the reset button then you go back to the your initial position that is the only that circuit now we have to calculate the unknown value using that carry foster base so now the copper strip is not required okay in place of copper strip you just put the unknown value work there is an unknown resistance so you just there is a little bit uh, difficulty to put it in the circuit so there is a resistance again i am just putting the resistance in the gap 2 and 3 and the fractional resistance in the another gap 4 and the unknown resistance so there is a problem so make sure you have to put it very carefully and this is the battery i am just putting in the circuit and then the unknown resistance you just put it in the gap 4 okay you just click and drag and drop you just connect it in the circuit okay this is the unknown resistance okay in the according to experiment you need to calculate the temperature coefficient but it is not required temperature coefficient you just calculate the unknown resistance okay so don't bother the temperature okay this is your unknown value okay but you calculate the unknown resistance is that of carry foster bridge okay again you just click on the continue button then the circuit will be activated okay then just select the resistance see there is a resistance uh, so in the p we have to choose that value in the previous one say 0 0.5 and q also be 0 0.5 so both p by q ratio will be same and the another uh, unknown resistance we have to choose there is unknown resistance to say unknown resistance one or two whatever according you can choose say any unknown resistance one i have chosen unknown resistance one and the register length register length say there is a um, slider you can change the resistance length okay so i am fixed it at the full say 25 the maximum value i have chosen the maximum value and the register diameter you can choose say according to your rules i am choosing in a particular value say 0 0.027 so you can choose it uh, another one so then not it doesn't matter so you can put it according to your choose the temperature there is a no function of the temperature because we are going to calculate the unknown resistance not the temperature coefficient and again this is your jockey slider so you have to click on the fractional resistance so we are uh, choosing the different fractional resistance see in the fractional resistance the fraction small and large three types of so it's click on the small this is the large so different uh, resistance is there and the fractional small large so i am choosing the um, uh, small resistance okay there is a large resistance and different resistance is there large small fractional so you can choose any one but try to start from the minimum the smaller resistance okay so you can choose any one from the smaller resistance according to the your measurement okay the p and q both are chosen 0.55 in the smaller resistance i am just choosing the resistance 2 ohm okay 2 ohm in the fractional resistance okay i have already um, chosen now in the jockey pointer you can slide the jockey pointer and just again you make to try to make the zero of the galvanometer okay you try to make zero or very close to zero if it is zero fine or very close to zero okay so now it's negative the minus 0 0.18 now it's 0 0.024 if you are sliding very carefully and try to almost um, yeah, it equals to zero now it's 0 0.024 you can consider this zero now put that value in the table there is a, another table i have just chosen so i am chosen another table say there is a value for the unknown resistance so what are the values say 74.7 okay for the gap uh, l1 unknown is the in the in gap one so you have chosen it gap one say 74.7 so i have just chosen in the gap one i am just uh, correcting it 74.5 sorry it's 74.7 so i am just correcting it 74.7 okay the gap one value for the unknown resistance again we have to choose that 
for the opposite direction that is the reverse connection and then the circuit will be reversed and again you slide the jockey pointer and again you have to calculate the null or very close to zero key. okay now it's almost close to zero little very carefully you just try to make it zero now it's minus 0 0.02 is almost zero and you put it in the another gap that is gap 4 okay in gap 4 you have to choose and then you can calculate the difference l2 minus l1 and the next the formula is given say x equals to y minus rho into l2 minus l1 y means what we have to choose in but i have already chosen the value y equals to 2 okay in the reverse connection you put it another value say fractional resistance say another say one then you put it made is only three again in the another resistance you can take the value of l1 okay like this in the previous one you have to take the value of l1 uh, say it's uh, almost uh, close to zero so it's now it's 0 0.021 or 0 0.0 it's 0 0.0 2 1 okay so you can take another value and that value say 87 point to put it here in the table say 87 point 2 okay oh sorry the previous one is the 2 now it is the resistance is the fractional is 3 i have just corrected 87 point 2 for the resistance 2 okay and then you put it in the reverse direction and then again you just slide the jockey and you just uh, find the null deflection null deflection means uh, you know the zero or very close to zero okay now it's minus 0 0.02 and you take that value in the for gap 4 is 12.5 is already x we have calculated in the using that formula y minus rho into l2 minus l1 you know value of y rho l2 minus l1 you that calculate that x value like that you choose for another different value okay and then calculate that mean of x okay here i am choosing only two you can take more than two that is up to five reading we have to take and then calculate the average value okay like this you can choose that all that value unknown resistance say value is uh, out of two it's 0 0.0 i am just putting it in the 0 0.02 value okay thank you